Hey everybody, hope you are doing well today. Um, and not, not to be facetious, I'm, I'm, I'm very, this is a serious issue. Listen, this on YouTube, it is fun because some of the stuff you guys put in the comments crack me up. You know, I, I was feeling a certain type of way about the, uh, the turkeys in, um, NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority, and how uh, some of the people, the residents didn't get one. And I'm going to do a video on it. One of the commenters was like, oh, and I bet you she got a man somewhere sitting up there. Oh, I bet you. And I was like, oh, my God. Then if you um, look at the video itself, guess what? I was like, yeah, I can see some men sitting up there waiting on that turkey then to realize, hey, it's not going to be one, you know? There was some men in line, too. So we're facing some serious issues uh, in the country. Everyone is, and our group is not, of course, immune to that, okay? So this here, not throwing shade or hate, or, well, it might be a little shade, but not hate or hate. Um, so here we have the beautiful Megan Thee Stallion. I'm not a fan of her music. That's just not my taste. If you like it, it's okay. You know, it's just not my, my, nah, I don't do Megan and the other one that starts with letter C. Yeah, I just, that's, hey, that's just not me. We're, we're all different and it's, don't forget, there are cultures within cultures. Uh, some people may like it. I'm not hating on you. But here's what I thought about. With all the litigation going on, under the lawsuit with uh, Diddy, you know, who's, oh, I'm going to go by love. Well, you must love you some drama. And what they're saying, it sounds like a less degeneracy. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm still saying Diddy. Anyway, Diddy, um, Jamie Foxx, Axl Rose, okay, but he's not in this group, you know, culturally speaking. And I saw something else about Coop. <laughs> I thought you were laying low, bro. No. Cooper Gooding Jr. again. So I'm going to go back into my emails and find that. And I thought with all this litigation that is going on, you know, uh, with these alleged assaults, because again, I personally cannot confirm or deny. But what I can confirm is that Tori Langs was found guilty. Remember of shooting her, of Meg and the Stallion's allegations of him allegedly shooting her on the foot or her feet? He was found guilty. So, for the sake of this video, and I do not like men who like to hurt women. I don't. I'm wishing you in the cornfields. So, for the sake of the video, where is he at? Where look? Where T unit? Here's an article that says, "Oh yeah, Mr. Lanes was sentenced to ten years in prison after being convicted of three felony counts for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in 2020." Where where T unit? I'm calling him T Unit because his first name is Tory and it starts the letter T. And Unit, because the word on the street is, he actually got a little weave in it going on. So I'm calling him T Unit. So this right here is little T T, Tory T Unit. Okay, for the sake of the video, just a little fun. Mm hmm. The little unit. And the unit is what the men are calling a weave. It's the same thing. You put some hair up there, it's a weave, but they're saying it's a unit. So T Unit. And I thought about it. A lot of times when the women show up that are filing these cases, and if something did happen, they won't harm, guess what? Ladies, go at it. Run his pocket, sis. In this country, that's the only thing you can do. People sue, you know, because they, they can feel it when they hit, the, hit those pockets. I was like, and I was looking and searching. I couldn't find anything. And I was like, wow. Megan the Stallion, you have incurred medical bills. And legal fees. You've incurred some trauma. And I searched. Maybe you guys can correct me. I can stand for correction. On the internet, I could not find anything where she has filed litigation against Tory Lanez. Like against T-Unit. Little Tory with the unit, the little weave unit up top. I cannot find anything where she has filed any litigation. Oh, she don't need the money. It ain't about that. I thought about it. But then if you notice all these other kings, when I said they're coming for the kings, all these other kings, kings, in most cases, look at the women that I've seen file litigation against them. L look. Becky, the preference. So, I said, Megan, this is a prime example in this community that for black women 
no matter what, even at the, if it's at the expense of you, we have a culture where you've got to protect. And I don't care where they're from. Uh, he, 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 he's brown, looks black to me. Canada doesn't, doesn't matter. In this culture, there's a the thing where you you gotta you gotta protect the man. Oh, so what? Maybe you were shot in your feet. Maybe you had some medical bills. Maybe you had some legal bills. Had to go to court. People, you know, recording you. It was a very trying experience for you. No matter what, you gotta protect him. I said, so what if Megan decided to follow what the other women are doing, the non-black women, and hold them accountable? File a lawsuit. What you want to bet? The who would be after her in a heartbeat. I, I thought about that. If she would have found, oh, no, she ain't got to do all that now. She ain't got to do all that. You'll find some mammies. She should just go on, just leave it alone. Leave it alone and let let the law handle it. You know, he'd been found guilty. And I don't want to make it hard on her. That lets you know they don't value you. That lets you know this community, They, I mean, they tell us every day, but somebody don't get the memo. And she can do what she want to do, but I'm just saying for the sake of the video. What if she were to file? Ooh, whoa, it would be something. She was literally, and don't forget, somebody, she lied to the police to protect them. And then, don't forget, after lying to the police, somebody else had called. Don't forget, somebody else saw it, and they called the police. Someone, I think, on a balcony or something. They called. And I said, that's interesting. Line, sh sh shoot me anywhere. I would have told. He did it. The little leprechaun. I'm sorry. I tore it, tore it, tore it lanes. He, he did it. He just shot me in my Please arrest him. It wouldn't have been a hesitation. Because I value me. So protect them on the scene of the crime. The, the BC got you up here crying in the name of you, girl. And I thought about it. I guess what she was supposed to just do is what? Take a shooting and just keep on scooting. What if her foot had came out? Just an example. Take a shooting and keep on scooting. Why? You got to protect T-Unit. <laughs> yeah, you got to protect the little leprechaun. This is sad. And then they wonder why they want to, they, they, oh, you were just bitter. We do have some bitter women because guess what? That's what the community has produced. We do have some bitter women because guess what? That's what the community has, that, that's the treatment they receive. Like I said before, and the reason I did the video about Dorinda Medley, uh, she said about her husband, six months prior to marriage, bought her that mansion, Bluestone Manor. And child black women, they can hardly find a man to sit up here and uh, pay for a six months lease. Is you got your part? I mean, seriously, let's be real. That's why I show that. There is a difference, but I know we're not going to be wrong. We're going to continue on. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Who you see sitting on the bench in NYC? Me and somewhere, I said, these jokers can't even, I thought about later, can't even afford a turkey. Sitting on the bench. And then I saw some men in line. Oh my, can't even afford a turkey. We have got. It, it's mind blowing to me. Mind blowing. What if she had, what if Megan had joined the rest and did what those ladies did and file, uh, let's say, uh, litigation for damages because she has been damaged. Again, she has gone to the doctor. She has medical bills. She has a legal case on file. He has been found guilty. The hood would rip her to shreds because that's what's expected of, of black women. You're not value. That happened to you. It's already done. Move on. Just, just deal with it. Just deal with it. No sympathy. No loving arms. I mean, again, I remember when it happened, she was like literally crying, trying to convince people. So, yeah, I thought about it. I said, I get it. I think I get it. I get it. I got it. She's supposed to just take a shooting and keep on scooting like nothing happened. Why? It, it, it This is how we operate every day. Surprise. Yeah, this is no surprise. I mean, this is, you know, this is, this is, this is, this is the norm because the women aren't valued. Oh, uh, 
if she had lost a foot. Well, listen, everybody born with two. You best use the one you got and get you a prosthetic on stage. You can still twerk with one foot. I can see something like that. Don't even have a safe community to run back to. No protection, no respect, no love. So, yeah, I thought about it. What if she had done that? Ooh, we, I can see, man, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Oh, girl, might be expected to do what? Cha, just take. I hate to say it. I think she'd be so, um, especially just to pretty much just take the. Sh- uh, she's been shot in the foot. Take the uh, shooting and just keep on scooting. You're not valued. But other women, let's see if the men gonna come down real hard. No, that tells you all you need to know right there. As I said, the world is watching. That's why I did the video. If some people still don't get it about that, with uh, at the dinner asking my Jesse Lee Peterson. All I said was, y'all recall him like doing a video uh Tariq Nasheed, California. That's all I said. And yeah, that's fine with me because I'm I don't want to I didn't want to discuss Jesse Lee Peterson. I don't have anything positive to say. I'm having a nice time, good food, mean people, awesome wine. I don't want to dump it down with dusty behavior. That's all I said. And so for the conversation to turn, go someplace else, I said, Oh, then they must know what he's about. Maybe they thought I was going to be on the, you know, on the Tariq Nasheed bus. No, I was just thinking, like, you know, I, it just came to mind and I just said it. Shut it down. Why? The world is watching. That was the point of the video. Okay. Some people still don't get it. The world is watching. So for the, no, no one said, well, who is that? They knew who it was. So like I said, that's the whole point of it. But the fact that I just happened to mention it. One step, one last comment made, then we moved on to something else. Good, because I don't have to talk about uh, Jesse Lee Peterson. I said, oh, <laughs> proves my point. Of course the world is watching. Different demographics, age, nationality, it's the World Wide Web. So this here, the same thing is applicable. The world is watching. Look at how the black community ridiculed this woman, some men and women, but now they come in front of kings. And it's not that I, I don't see the harsh treatment that she received. Why? Because it's non-black women. The world is watching. I thought about that. Where's all that harshness that making we see? She was like, the girl was like literally crying. It was sad. On her IG, she's crying on social media. Same thing. The world is watching. And we think we got a secret that nobody knows. I, you better think again. They know how we operate. Where's all the go get them, go get them? A lot of videos on it, but I don't see the men just tearing these other women down. Why? You know why? They respect them. And they know, no, nah, no, nah, I want to do that, man, because, you know, them men will protect the women. They might come out of a bag on them. And then if there's a black man that's not down dogging them out, you know, uh, maybe being objective, or, you know, he ain't nothing but a simp. But think about it. Look how they had Megan the Stallion. I mean, I remember she was, like, online people crying. And look at this who it did and all of that. I haven't seen Cassie have to cry yet, them tearing her down, which, which number one, let's be real, she doesn't, she, these these men are used as a stepping stone, ask J-Lo, that's my opinion, as a stepping stone to come up. Once they come up, bye, buttercup. Look how many movies that J-Lo's been in, that she's even produced some movies. What are Kings in her movie? I think she called it, she's made it, and I don't blame her. I think in her mind, she don't want the stain of a Kang. I thought about that. All the black men, you've been around, girl, to get up. Uh, don't forget who put her on uh, in Living Color, Ken and Ivory Wayans. Who are the black men in her movie? What a K. Jayla, why aren't the Kangs in your movie? The Kangs are not in her movies because guess what? She don't want the Kang. She don't want the stain of a Kang. So the world is watching. I don't see, I haven't seen uh, them just really go super hard. And maybe I haven't seen every video. But Boris, Megan was having to do the crying circuit. So yeah, typical black stand. You get shot in the foot. Hey, Megan, that's on you. Just take the shooting and keep on scooting, and I'm out.